hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is dtech here i'm just gonna show you how to install dubfest os on your samsung galaxy s21 device so this is my s21 i've been using it for in and out around two years so i mostly used it with custom roms i daily drive it for a week in and out so i switch between my poco and my s21 in and out so just want to tell you my experience with uh, voltage os it's been good but the thing is um, not all the cameras on on this rom show up so if you change the settings inside the past settings it doesn't show up in the os all the cameras show up but uh, and I'm just gonna show you what what you need to do after you install your the first OS on your Samsung Galaxy S21 so the links will be down below for the kernel is Hari kernel but it's closed source and you need to subscribe to his monthly subscription so you're gonna get the latest updates from Hari kernel so the latest is for the GSI is 4.4 and it has kernel su built in it so you don't need to worry about your phone safety net anything i'm just gonna show you how to do it just follow the steps but subscribe to hari kernel and download his kernels i can't give you the kernel and here we go so my i'm using my hard drive which is connected to usb type c right down there so what you need to do is backup all your data from Neo Backup. I would suggest Neo Backup. I've been using it for three, four weeks now. I can switch between devices with Neo Backup. Nothing, no issues. Only banking apps don't backup. You need to log into everything. Banking and Instagram, all social media. You need to log in. Uh, WhatsApp, you can it bypasses it so you directly can use whatsapp after backing up no issues so let me go through it so in my file you have to go your external drive copy everything to external these are the three files you need the dubfest os extracted image it is 3.77 gb a uh, hurry kernel version 4.4 aosp build do not flash the one ui build and TWRP AOI fix so once you got all these three reboot to recovery if you get to you need to reboot to recovery once you reboot to recovery wipe all my data has been wiped go back go home install then go to your folder where it is all three folders so select image the first image click on it go down select system image and then swipe once you do that go home again install then install TWRP AOI fix once you done that go install Ari kernel and make sure I just install it again the AOI fix and then go home reboot reboot the system that's it this is how you install the dubfest os but there's few more steps i'm gonna guide you to So this is Dubfest OS on your Samsung Galaxy S21 5G. This is a GSI build. 
So once you do done the setup, you'll be greeted with this look. So what you have to do is download kernel su the first page click on it and scroll right down where it says see all scroll right right down and click on the first which is uh, the third at the bottom which says apk and download it so I would suggest downloading this APK before you even flash the ROM. All these APKs which I'm gonna show them, please download it before before you flash the ROM. It's much better. A browser it would be better and a kernel SU and all the module which I'm gonna show you right now, you need them. So please download them early and I'll give the all links down below. Much easier for you to grab all the links. So kernel SU is working, it's fine. And then you need one more thing, needs M repo. I'm gonna give you the links down below and download this to the latest version. You need a Magis module for it or after downloading and installing M repo. So what you have to do, go to kernel SU and refresh you're gonna see M repo give it you super user and say root it and then you have to click on universal safety net fix universal safety net fix and reboot it once you reboot it so after rebooting what you have to do is to check if your safety net is fine just here and go to settings and check if your device is certified if his device is not certified what you have to do is click on this go to information go more for stop it clear both storage go back go to settings get down then go to your apps go see more apps click on here and click show more and then system settings you have to check for play store play store services and play store for stop it clear data sorry clear data and clear both of the data you have to clear and then start it again so what it does the safety net will work now because the module was not there it won't say it it, it will say it is not certified because the module was not there before you just need to add the universal safety net fix that's it and after this your phone is fine so the thing I was mentioning all the cameras so you can see there are only two cameras right now you have to go inside pass settings Samsung features enable access to all cameras and then clear all go back again if it's still not showing up then go here miscellaneous misc go to miss features and then go here and expose a AUX camera and camera to API and then what you do is a give it a reboot so after restart open camera and you can see all the cameras if you don't believe me I'll just show you just don't hit 1.1 it uh, it just reboots the phone so 1.1 doesn't work this is the second lens which is right here 
this is this is 2x which is the last lens you can look I'm gonna put the finger yeah 2x works fine then 6 is ultra wide and then again ultra wide 1 1 and then 2 all the cameras are working this is why I wanted a fast OS on my phone thanks guys thanks for watching I would say just subscribe to him is is worth it he has done a lot of work on it and thanks for watching peace out